Uh, well, yeah, uh, three-one defeat and there were pretty, three pretty cheap goals to concede as well. You say. Goals were terrible, shocking goals. First one, Dan's got to gather. Second one, he's got to deal with. Um, and then the third one from the corner. So it's actually a sliced corner. Um, and we've not cleared it. And then the lad on the edge of the box has just put it through a crowd of bodies into the bottom corner. Um, I thought we made a good response from the first. Scored a good equaliser. But you can't legislate for for the mistakes. In the last two games, the mistakes that we've made for the goals have been shocking. And um, you just you're giving yourself a mountain to climb. So I'm saying the same things. I'm saying, I'm saying the same things all the time. So the performances, um, you know, they wanted, they wanted to win that game today. Once they went ahead, they wanted to win the game. They wanted to be strong in the game, and we didn't have enough wants to get back into it. We often puffed a little bit. There was some. Some lads who, who did, who tried, who, who really had to go. And then, but I just felt we were a bit flimsy and a bit too, we just played a bit too lightweight, I thought, and that's, that's, where, that's where we're at, unfortunately. And we, we keep saying we're better than what we are, but we're not. We're not, because the league table doesn't lie. There's only so many games you'll be unlucky in, and, and then the rest of it, as the season progresses, is what it is and you are where you are and at the minute where we are in the league is where we should be because that underbelly has come back again um, a few weeks ago you win a couple of games on the bounce in the league and then and, and you think you you know you turn the corner and then in the last two games we've reverted to type which is um, disappointment you know it's, it's body language we've got disappointed body language on the pitch and that's how you. That's how it ends up into your game, and that's that's how we play. We play this. We play disappointed. We play when it's not going our way. It's it's like you know the game owes it to us to it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, and the first half especially seems to be a very open game and sort of pretty frantic. Is that why you're looking for maybe Carl Hedger to try and settle things down a bit and get some control? Yeah, well, 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 we said about about the pitch. I mean, the pitches and pitches and the greatest. that certainly. Certainly on the edge of both boxes, it's, it's, it's heavy, it's, it's rutted and stuff. But we said, you know, we don't need to be playing too many, too many balls across the back line. Let's look forwards. We've got forwards we want to get hold of it. Forwards we want to make it, make it stick and, and play in their half. And when we did that, we, you know, we caused problems. But at the same time, we, we still looking to play back and then conceding territory and then, and then making the fight to get back up the pitch again. And I think. I think we we tried to simplify it today with um, just basic um, basic instructions, and we, when we did follow them, we got we got success. When we didn't, we caused our own issues, and that's been a problem. I suppose the main positive job is that we've managed to take the whole game, and then Joe getting his first goal to put the ball. So the, the both both of them both of them were you know were two of our players that that never stopped. Joel to play 90 minutes the way he did. He trained on Thursday night and to play how he did was, was different class and a credit to him for his fitness and keeping himself fit. I say it all the time about being fit away from the place and being as fit as you can around the injuries and he's done exactly that um, because he's you know he's been outstanding. We've missed him, we've missed him massively and I think um, you know that you're right in what you're saying, he is a bonus.